In the summer of 2025, a strange and alarming discovery at one of America's most secure nuclear cleanup facilities sent shockwaves through environmental and government circles. A wasp nest, yes, a nest built by insects, was found emitting levels of radiation more than 10 times the federally allowed limit. The discovery raised not only eyebrows, but critical questions about contamination, safety, and the unpredictable forces of nature inside one of the most hazardous locations in the country. The radioactive nest was detected on July 3rd at the Savannah River site in South Carolina. Once used to produce materials for nuclear weapons during the Cold War, the site is now one of the most contaminated nuclear facilities in the United States. It's home to massive underground tanks holding liquid radioactive waste, some of it dating back more than 60 years. The nest was discovered near a post at the F Area Tank Farm, an area containing some of these aging waste tanks. When routine monitoring detected radiation hot spots, safety personnel found the source, a wasp nest built into the structure, radiating contamination levels well above safety thresholds. Crews immediately neutralized the situation. The nest was sprayed with insecticide, safely removed, and disposed of as radioactive waste. No live wasps were found inside, but the implications of the discovery triggered a flurry of concern. According to a report released later by the Department of Energy, there was no sign of a current leak from the tanks. The contamination was attributed to what they called legacy radiation, residual particles left over from past nuclear operations. Officials emphasized there was no danger to the surrounding environment, no public exposure, and no contamination detected in nearby soil. Still, watchdog groups weren't satisfied. The Savannah River Site Watch, a local nonprofit that monitors operations at the facility, raised a number of questions the report didn't answer. For example, what kind of wasp built the nest? Some wasps build with mud, others with wood pulp. The materials used could help identify how the nest became radioactive and where the contamination came from. Without knowing the nest type, tracing its path becomes nearly impossible. The watchdog group also questioned whether other nests could be similarly contaminated. If one nest turned up radioactive, it raises the possibility that insects might unknowingly spread small traces of radiation to other areas within the facility. And if that's the case, how would the Department of Energy know without additional inspections? The area where the nest was found lies deep inside the Savannah River site's restricted zone, far from public access. Experts point out that most wasps don't travel far from their nests, generally staying within a few hundred yards. That limited range offers some reassurance that any contamination likely remained within the fenced facility. But the idea of insects interacting with nuclear waste storage isn't just unusual, it's unsettling. Nature doesn't follow containment procedures. It finds cracks, gaps, and opportunities. And when wasps begin to intersect with radioactive material, it exposes a rarely discussed risk. How animals, insects, and weather can play unpredictable roles in radioactive sites, even those considered secure. Tom Clements, the director of Savannah River Site Watch, expressed frustration at the lack of detailed information. In his words, he was as mad as a hornet. He believes more transparency is needed, including full disclosure about the nature of the contamination, where exactly it came from, and whether steps are being taken to inspect for other nests or similar anomalies. For a site tasked with safeguarding some of the most dangerous waste in the country, even a small oversight can lead to big questions. And while the radioactive nest may seem like an oddity, almost like a science fiction headline, it touches on a much deeper issue, the long-term safety and management of Cold War-era nuclear materials. In the end, the wasp nest was removed, the area was cleared, and officials insist there's no ongoing risk. But the incident serves as a strange reminder that, even in tightly controlled environments, nature finds a way, and sometimes it glows in the dark. 
This is not just the story of a radioactive wasp nest. It's a wake-up call about vigilance, transparency, and the unseen risks that live in the margins of our nuclear legacy.